solving simple two-step equations. Okay, to solve simple two-step equations, we need to get the variable, which is typically x, alone on one side of the equal sign, and all the other numbers on the other side of the equal sign. So in this first problem right here, our x is what we want to get alone on the left side of the equal sign. Now we're going to use inverse um, of PEMDAS. So normally, PEMDAS, we would end with addition and subtraction, but here we're always going to start with addition and subtraction. So first thing I'm going to do is move this 6 over, and the inverse of a minus 6 is going to be plus 6. Bring the 2x down. I haven't gotten rid of the 2 yet. Oops, that was a mistake. <laughs> Should be 38. Okay, next we're going to get rid of the 2. The 2 is attached by multiplication, so we're going to divide both sides by 2. And there we go. We get x equals 19. Okay, here's our next one. Again, I want to add or subtract something over and then multiply or divide. Well, this 12 is attached by addition, and the 4 is attached by division. So I'm going to start with the 12. This is a positive 12, so the inverse of a positive 12 is going to be a negative 12. So I'm going to subtract 12 over. These 12s cancel out. They make 0. On the left side, I'm left with x over 4. And on the right side, I have 8. My last thing to move is the 4. The 4 is attached by division, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. On the left side, these 4s cancel out, and I get x equals 32. Okay, so I have 5x minus 6 equals negative 21. Again, I want to start by adding or subtracting something over, and then doing my multiplying or dividing. So I'm going to start with the 6. It's a negative 6, or a minus 6. So I'm going to add 6 on both sides. Okay, now I need to get rid of the 5 that's still with the x. It's attached by multiplication, so I'm going to divide both sides by 5. And I get x equals 3. Remember, you can always double check every single one of your problems by just plugging your answer back in. In fact, if you have a calculator with parentheses, you could type in this whole thing right here in one motion. So 5 parentheses 3 parentheses minus 6, you're going to get negative 21 equals negative 21. So we know our answer is right because we've checked it. You can do that with every um, equation that you solve. Okay, so here I have negative 6 minus 7x. Again, I want to move something over first by using addition or subtraction. So I'm going to start with this um, negative 6 right here. Oops. Change slides on me. Okay, so I'm going to start with the negative 6. I'm going to add the 6 over. Make sure that you keep this negative sign in front of the 7. It didn't go away. The only thing that went away was your negative 6. and then divide by negative 7, we get x equals negative 10. Make sure you never drop a negative sign. Keep it all the way until the end. Okay, this one looks a little tricky. It's just a little bit different. So just looking on the left side, normally I've told you to add or subtract something over and then do multiplication or division. So that would make you think, okay, I should add the 4 over and then multiply everything by 6. But since the 6 is underneath everything, including the 4, we're going to take care of the 6 first. So we're going to multiply both sides by 6 to begin with. On the left side, your 6's cancel out and you just have x minus 4. On the right side, 2 thirds times 6. Well, we want to know what 2 thirds of 6 is. If you think about what 1 third of 6 is, that's 2, because 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. So I need 2 of those, that's going to be 4. You could also use your calculator here. Put in the fraction 2 thirds times 6, you'll get out 4. 
Okay, to finish this off, I just need to add 4 over. And there we go, we get x equals 8. Okay, pause your video right now, do these on your own, and then restart your video to watch me do them. Alright, I'm going to subtract the 6 over. And then divide by negative 5. Make sure you have brought that negative down. On this one, I need to start by adding the 1 fourth over. Now, don't get worried about these fractions here. 3 fourths plus 1 fourth is just 4 fourths, which is the same as 1. 2x comes down. It should still be there. The 1 fourths canceled out. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to get the x alone, and I get x equals 1 half. 